sunny day to everybody today. I am so excited. The sun is out. The Christmas decorations are up. We are getting ready to celebrate the birth of baby Jesus and all Jesus has meant to this world. And let me tell you about baby Jesus. We had an amazing, amazing parade in ball ground. And I love that there were manger scenes, there were angels, there were all kinds of things that, that show you that Christmas, the season is about that baby and that birth. And so to ball ground, to your parade, to everybody who came out, thank you to everybody. It was awesome. But the biggest thank you of all was to God Almighty for lifting the showers it rained all day long, y'all. It was miserable. I'm paying the price for it. Evelyn's paying the price for it. We stood on concrete lots and lots of hours in the cold and the rain, and both our backs are thrown out right now. And you'll see that today as you watch me because you can see the pain in my face. But we had a great, great time. And thank you, Lord, for lifting those showers. It would come and go, the rain but there were no dampers on anybody's attitude. Everybody was happy, everybody was smiling, and the greatest thing all is that Santa and Mrs. Claus made it to our 50th anniversary of the Ball Ground Parade. This is one of the most amazing times ever because these two people have given for years and years and years. And because of the weather and because Santa is a little bit under the weather, they couldn't put him out in his sleigh. And he was very disappointed about that. But that red truck was absolutely perfect. It had heat in it and it was just amazing. So we hope that each and every one of you who came out to our parade got to say thank you to Santa, whether you just threw him a kiss or, or applauded as they came down the road. It was all about the season that is truly about Jesus' birth. It is also about helping underprivileged children, and the Marines have been doing this forever and ever and ever with the toy collection. And to our crew who stood in the rain all those hours, so I don't know if their backs are feeling like our backs are, but Evelyn was under a heating pad all weekend and I was kind of just struggling through it and having a little trouble getting up and down. So that's why I'm standing up today. It's easier to stand than it is to sit, but in a little bit, I'm gonna sit. So it's just been really weird, but we had a great time at our office. Thank you to every parent who brought your child. These kids were so polite. They were so thankful. They would say, may I have another hot chocolate? Of course you can. Everybody was just on top of their game. It was wonderful, and I'm so excited that the weather did hold off. And to brilliant Evelyn, she got us a tent to put in front of our office, so our guest got to sit under a tent, which was really, really cool. And there's the Marines, and, and that's what it's about, guys. It's about collecting toys. The Toys for Tots has been going on with the Marines for many, many years, and it was just amazing. And there's Miss Georgia. And uh, let's not talk about Georgia right now since they lost the SEC game. Shh, don't say anything about it. But roll tide. Yay, that's all I'm going to say. I love Georgia. I love Georgia. But I got to tell you, Alabama nailed it. So, all right, there's our parade. It was amazing. It was wonderful. It was, it was such a good showing of people. I think the bands had to uh, back out because they don't want to get their instruments wet. And a couple of other people backed out because of the weather. But most of the people, and there is my number one float, that is Christmas Pete. And I will tell you, Malden Body Shop, you rock. You rock. It was just so much fun. And Christmas Pete was, he might have been the highlight. He and Santa together, they, they can share the uh, recognition for being number one. And those are our brokers who came to be with us at our office. And this is, it was their first year doing this. And we were explaining to them how for years we have opened our doors and invited people in to have refreshments. And we do it every single year. And I love that people come in and say, well, let me make a donation. Let me pay you. Let me do for that. We say, no, just bring a toy for the underprivileged children. That's what it's all about. Now, we're going to take a music break right now so I can go over here and sit down because I've got something propped up that's going to hold my back in place to get through today. Because honestly, y'all, years and years ago, we had a really, really bad car wreck. And the doctor said, you're never going to be able to do the things that you're used to doing. 
And I laughed at him and he said, and as you get older, you will realize that you can't do the things you can do. This weekend, I overdoed it and I overdoed it big. So, so I'm going to sit in just a minute and uh, we're going to share some time, share some fellowship and we're going to have a really good day. The sun is shining. The world is um, coming to a point that we are all focusing in on his birth, the holidays, family and friends. I'll be back with you shortly. Get up everybody. It's Christmas time. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the hills we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. Oh, what fun it is to ride in Santa's sleigh tonight. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Out on my way down the old dirt road on that Georgia clay. The afternoon was mine, the truck was running fine. I drove and drove till I wound up in downtown LJ. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is! I'd make y'all laugh, but I don't know if I can do it. Trace is in the control room, and he's dancing to that music. And I'm sitting here thinking, I can just get up and dance right with him. Are you kidding me? I can barely move today, so that ain't happening. But great music. Uh, it is one of those Christmas specials that you hear every single year, and we heard it in the parade. A lot of the groups chose to do that, and it was a lot of fun. So now let's get serious. This weekend was uh, a heavenly birthday for a very, very special lady. Selena Hales celebrated her heavenly birthday and um, very, very hard time for the family, very, very hard time for those who knew and loved Angel Spirit and loved their music. And so in honor of she and another friend who went to be with Jesus last week, Cooter Noland, who taught school in Pickens County for many, many, many years, and actually was one of the first programs we ever did, a tiny five-minute Heart of the Home segment that you're going to get to see today. She passed away last week, so she went to be with the Lord way too young, 63 years old. There are so many people among us who are leaving us so soon. I have so many friends who lost their children. I have so many friends who lost their soulmate. I have so many friends who are watching those people today as they near the end of their lives. And so I wanna share something very, very special with y'all today. 
and I'm just going to read you a poem that somebody sent me when I lost my mom. And um, I lost my mom and my husband within six weeks of each other. And I had this deal. I made a deal with God. God doesn't make deals. And I didn't know that because when my mom left this earth in July, I thought, J.S. is going to make it. He's not going to leave here because God wouldn't do this to me twice. God doesn't do things to us. He does things that just put us in a place. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. And I learned to deal with that. And um, over the first, the last couple of years, I've had a really, really hard time with some things that have happened to me. The trauma, the, um, the things that I never thought I would face ever. And uh, I cried a lot. I cried a lot. And then recently, I was talking to somebody. I've been talking to different people in counseling. And I said, I worry because I don't cry anymore. And I really think, what happened to me? Do I have no emotion because I've been through so much? What is happening to me? This weekend, after I messed my back up, I watched some movies. And I'm going to share this with you all in just a little bit. I started crying again. And I thought, does that mean I'm over what hurt me? Am I over what happened to me? Am I over the loss of trust? Am I over all the things that I faced? Or am I just back to normal? I don't know. Because God puts us in a place that we just have to stick with it, get through it, and come out of it. And so I want you all to sit back now and hope that you can record this. This is a poem truly that um, meant a lot to me when somebody shared it with me just after I buried my husband and my mom 22 years ago. So here we go. And this is, um, I, I don't know who wrote this, but it's called, If You Could See Where I Have Gone. If you could see where I have gone, the beauty of this place, and how it feels to know your home, to see the Savior's face, to wake in peace and know no fear, just joy beyond compare. While still on earth you miss me yet, you wouldn't want me there. If you could see where I have gone, if you could see where I have gone, had made the trip with me, you'd know I didn't go alone. The Savior came with me. When I awoke, he was by my side and reached down his hand and said, Hurry, you're going home to a grand and glorious land. Don't worry over those you love, for I'm not just with you. And don't you know, with you at home, they'll long to be here too. If you could see where I have gone and see what I've been shown, you'd never know another fear or ever feel alone. You'd marvel at the care of God, His hand on every life, and realize that He really cares and bears with us each strife. And that He weeps when one is lost, His heart is filled with joy. When one comes home, a child is home again. If you could see where I have gone, could stay a while with me, could share the things that God has made to grace eternity. But no, you couldn't ever leave once heaven's joy you've known. You couldn't bear to walk on earth's past once heaven has been your home. If you could see where I have gone, you'd know we'll meet someday. And though I've parted from you now, that I am just away. And now that I am home with him, secure in every way, I'm waiting here at heaven's door to greet you some sweet day. And that goes out to each and every one of you who have lost a loved one, who are dealing with the grief of possibly losing a loved one. It is one of those things. He is going to be with us. And I can remember the day I got that poem, I was sobbing as I read it, and I said, why did they send me that? Well, 22 years later, I know why they sent it to me, because it is the truth, and it is the truth that we need to hear. This weekend, I did something that um, I don't do very often, guys. I sat still. Now, anybody who knows me knows I don't sit still. I didn't sit still till late Saturday after I went to the office and worked a few hours and kind of got things back in order after our big events on Friday night. But I spent time watching movies, and I want to recommend this movie. I don't tell y'all what to do, but I am telling y'all, if you can stand the pressure of the content, then you need to watch this movie. This movie was in production 
It took many, many people volunteering their money to get this movie out there. It was held up by Hollywood, by people who didn't want the truth to be told. This is a very, very true movie, and I want to read you what the back says. It says, God's children are not for sale. The sound of freedom based on the incredible true story shines a light on even the darkest of places. After rescuing a young boy from a ruthless child traffickers, a federal agent learns the boy's sister is still captive and decides to embark on a dangerous mission to save her. With time running out, he quits his job and journeys deep into the Colombian jungle, putting his life on the line to free her from a fate worse than death. And I tell people all the time, there is something worse than death. And I want to tell you about the movies. I was sharing with a friend who's just recovering from surgery, and I said, you got YouTube, right? He said, yeah. And I said, I want you to watch some movies. And I gave him a list. The first one is called Hiding Victoria. And when you watch it, you're going to go, Sherry, why did you want me to watch that movie? I want you to watch that movie. Because if you know somebody who's a drug addict, they might be a drug addict because they're trying to hide, camouflage, or forget something that happened to them as a child. And if you watch The Sound of Freedom, you will want to um, vote for people who care about children. I guarantee you, when you think about over $100 billion a year is spent on sex trafficking with children. Think about that. Now, now that's something. Those are two movies I want you to watch. But then one, I didn't know about this lady's story, but the, the person who plays Julie Posey in the Julie Posey story, and this you can see on YouTube, is Annie Potts. And you might remember her from Designing Women. I love that program. I was addicted to it for years. But she does an amazing job as a mom who catches pedophiles. And she is absolutely incredible. She goes undercover and she does all kinds of things. And she nails some people that you would go, wow, I didn't see that coming. And then if you have a military career, um, if you have military, if your kids are in the military, this is a bit of a sad movie, but I still want you to watch it. It is called Lifted. And it is of a sweet young boy who has an amazing voice. And he, uh, against all odds, he enters a competition, and I'm not going to tell you the rest of it, but I want you to watch these movies, Hiding Victoria, and you're going to go, Sherry, I don't know about this, but you will, I think you'll like it. The Sound of Freedom, and that is one, it is available, I bought this at the Dollar General, um, you can actually rent it. Um, I know on ETC they have all kinds of services where there are movies available on a lot of the um, Wi-Fi that we have. So, so you can check that out. And then the Julie Posey story is, again, it is on YouTube. And then Lifted was on YouTube. So, so these are ways for you to get to here. Um, and I'm having to do that because my phone went off. Spank me. My phone just rang. So if you if you are sitting around, um, don't do it on these sunshiny days. Get out and enjoy the sunshine. But the next rainy day, the next day that your back is hurting and you can't do anything else, then I want you to um, to think about just just sit down, just sit down and rest a bit. Maybe put a heating pad on your back and sit down and rest a bit and watch some movies and uh, watch some movies that'll make you think and it will make you think about how you vote. It will make you think about who you support. It will make you think about um, what is right and what is wrong in this world. And again, the, the storyline is God's children are not for sale. And today in this world, and sadly in this evil world, there are children who have been sold into sex, sex slavery and trafficking and um, hundreds of thousands. You know, I grew up in Atlanta. 2632 Memorial Drive, we could walk to our ballet lessons. I guarantee you there's not a parent in that neighborhood today who would let their children walk. Two little girls, my sister and I used to walk to our ballet lessons. There's no way anybody's going to let a parent get out and walk in today's world or let a child get out and walk. The parent's going to be nervous and worried and stressed and uh, because these are not normal times we're living in. These are not normal times. So... So we are going to take a commercial break, and when we come back, you're going to get to see I've chosen Christmas excerpts of my favorite programs, 
And of course, we're going to feature Santa and Mrs. Claus. Can't say enough thank yous to them for getting literally out of their sick bed on Friday and getting to. Pam is recovering from surgery. And she gets out after surgery like two weeks ago, and she's Mrs. Claus, so there you go. But we have to say thank you, thank you, thank you to them. We're going to take a commercial break. We'll be right back. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? The mountains are calling and they're closer than you think. Farmers Crossing in Ball Ground offers Creekside lots with homes beginning in the 400s. Walking distance to downtown shopping, dining, tennis courts, Calvin Farmer Park, and local events. It also includes a beautiful hike to Long Swamp Creek. Leave the car and the worries behind. Move in by fall 2023. Call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. You know, how you feel on the inside yeah. is just as important to me as how you feel on the outside. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> I grown up, grown up, and every way and every way. in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. The interesting thing about the Knights of St. Nicholas, uh, it's an elite group of Santa Clauses that they uh, consider to live by the traditions and what people expect Santa and Mrs. Claus to be. But the interesting thing is when they notified me about uh, this honor, uh, I asked, you know, well, well what happens? Well, what, what do they do? And they said, well, it's just a, it's like a knighting ceremony. We have a sword that's been blessed by the church. And uh, we go through the process of knighting you, like you see the queen does, you know. And I said, okay, that's interesting. And uh, then you take part of the manna. 
<laughs> and uh, and I was a little concerned about well what what is the manna and this is the interesting thing about it. Uh, the gentleman explained to me that um, the manna uh, is gathered on May the 6th. Actually, the Catholic Church goes into the tomb of St. Nicholas. Wow. And his bones produce an oil. You're kidding. And they gather that oh, oil boy. from the bones of St. Nicholas. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And uh, every May 6th, I believe it is. And he says, that's the manna. Well, my concern was, am I going to have to drink this? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And, uh, they explain, we're just you were thinking, thinking, you feet, were thinking yeah, can, what, yeah. And they inform me, he says, no, we, we don't do that. We, we, we put the uh, manna in a bowl and we, we make a cross with it on your forehead. So that I can do. You, yeah, you, yeah. You, you, and he said, which I thought was really, uh, really uh, nice. He said, and what happens is you absorb something within your body from the original St. Nicholas. Oh my God, and, uh, so, how awesome is so that? So that was a, sort of an awesome tradition. And then yeah. in that same year, uh, I was uh, fortunate to uh, be inducted into the uh, Santa Claus, the International Santa Claus Hall of Fame, which um, at the time that I was inducted, uh, there were only 41 in the world that had that honor. Mm -hmm. And uh, the class of Santas that are in that uh, organization is unbelievable. Uh, people like Ed Gwynn, who was the Santa Claus in the original Miracle on 34th yes, he Street. Yes, I saw uh -huh. that the other day. Uh, Hayden Sunbloom, who was the uh, artist for the Coca-Cola Santa Claus, uh, actually went in the same year that I went in. Now, and where is uh, that located? Uh, it is located in, in all places, a, a little town called Santa Claus, Indiana. 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 Wow. Indiana. wow. I have been to and Santa Claus, Indiana. Indiana. And, yes, I have. Yeah. And it's in Santa yes, Claus's uh, Candy Castle. Uh, there in Santa Claus, Indiana, and uh, that was quite an honor. And I think one of the things that touched me the most was uh, after the induction ceremony, uh, I had this lady that came up to me and she said, my sister is extremely mad at you. And I said, she is? And she said, <laughs> she said yes. And I thought, well, here with one of the greatest honors I've ever had in my life, and this lady comes up and tells me that her sister is upset with me. Uh -huh. And she said, well, the reason uh, is that she um, saw the photographs of the Santas that were being inducted, and she saw your picture, and she said, that's the one that I want to be my daughter's Santa Claus. Uh -huh. And... Um, so uh, she found out that I was from Georgia and that uh -huh. she was from Michigan and that wouldn't happen. So she was upset. <laughs> oh, well. Wow. Well, the next day we saw her and we had... Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, my guest, Ansley, Victoria, Ruth, Taylor, my granddaughter, is home from college. Great to have you here. Thanks. We're going to make homemade cookies for Santa. A recipe that I have gotten as a gift many Christmases from my friend Miss Olga Burgess in Albertville, Alabama, but I've never made them. And you're, you're game, so we're going to make them, right? Why not? We're going to make them. Tori, tell me the ingredients. We're going to use two sticks of margarine, three-fourths a cup of sugar, a half a tablespoon, half a teaspoon of salt, <laughs> half a teaspoon of vinegar, white vinegar, half a teaspoon of baking soda, two teaspoons of vanilla, and one and three-fourths cups plain flour, and a cup of pecans. Sounds good. Tori, let's put these cookies together. Let's do it. Okay, we have two sticks of butter that we're going to cream with our sugar. Okay, Tori, we're going to cream the butter and sugar together. We have softened, actually this is margarine, and everybody who knows my cooking knows I don't use margarine, but tonight we're using margarine. Okay, Tori, tell me what we do next. We have creamed the sugar and butter. All right, so if you've creamed the margarine and the sugar together, now you're going to add the salt and vanilla and then slowly add the flour as you mix it up together. Right. And then the vinegar and the baking soda, we had to mix together half a teaspoon of each. Right. Set it aside for 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. And then it does... I think it becomes a new compound that helps the cookies stay together. That's Absolutely. what I'm thinking. I think it makes them the crunchy little crispy taste they have. So um, we're going to add our vanilla. That's... A teaspoon, right? <laughs> Looks like it to me. In this kitchen it is. And salt. We're going to add our salt. And Do you want to be mixing it? I'm going to be mixing it, yes. And we're going to slowly add the flour, just a little bit at a time. I scrape the baking soda in there. Scrape it right in the middle. We're going to 
scoop this into a bowl and refrigerate it for a little while, let it chill. And we're going to be working on one of our family's favorite things. What is that, Jory? Krispy Kreme Christmas trees. Krispy Kreme. And when you see the hot sign, you know our car pulls up. Tori, is that tree beautiful? It is adorable. Now, honestly, today, when I walked in with three dozen donuts, did you think I'd lost my mind? No, I thought you were the greatest grandmother <laughs> to grace this planet. <laughs> and you took some decorating tubes, mm -hmm. and you created, has the hot sign and all. What yeah. does it say? It says hot donuts right now. Hot donuts right now. And we know that sign, don't we? Oh, it translates to pull in, pull in. <laughs> it does, it does. And now <laughs> Ansley is waiting to taste this. And I think that's going to be a good dessert, don't you? I think we can let her dive into it. I think we can think do so. that. I think we can do it's that. It's about time we broke her in. It's time. It's time. She's another generation coming along. Yep. Tori, I think our dough is chill. Oh, I'm so excited about making these. Okay, Tori, we're going to add our pecans. We have a cup of pecans that we're adding to our mixture, and we're going to roll this in small balls. Now, Nanny, for people that don't like pecans, why are they not optional in this recipe? Well, you can do it without it, but we, um, my sister-in-law tried it without pecans because one of her family members didn't like them, and she said it just needed that kick. But, you know, if you don't like nuts or if you can't eat nuts, by all means, try it. Now, we are going to roll these into small balls quickly before the dough gets warm. And I promise you, these will melt in your mouth. If they're as good as Miss Olga's, I think I hear Santa. Are those sleigh bells? <gasps> I sure we better hope. hurry. Oh, we better hurry. Oh, my goodness. You know, he'll be so impressed. Okay, let's stick these. You stick right. these in the oven. And remember, the oven's on 325. And we use a convection oven. Wow, Tori, they smell great. Fresh out of the oven. They're warm. And if we hurry, I think I heard some sleigh bells. <gasps> I hear sleigh bells. Tori, hurry, take them in there and let's get ready. Santa's gonna be coming down the chimney. And we wanna pretend we're asleep. Ho, ho, ho! Whoever made these cookies will be getting a lot of presents for Christmas. <laughs> From our house to yours, Merry Christmas and may God bless you. Wow, wow. Do you realize how long ago that was? That is crazy, y'all. Ansley was a kid. Ansley is now a mom of Xana. That is so wild to see that. That is so cool. What amazing memories. And those were in the early days of us doing the five minute segment with Heart of the Home here on ETC. That's what I love about having all these old programs and all the things that we can share. As I was watching that though, I had to think about the poem that I had just read and I thought about Donovan Jones and what Donovan meant to me. And I know what I meant to him. And um, very, very hard to, to think about those holidays without our loved ones. But this weekend, in honor of Donovan, I made a huge pot of Donovan's dip and everybody loved it. And I'll tell you what I'm having for supper tonight, Donovan's dip, because I had some left over and I thought, you know what, that'll be great with a side salad. As you're approaching these holidays and as you're spending time with friends and family, we will all be remembering those that are lost. And um, I'm gonna try to post a copy of this poem on my Facebook page if y'all wanna get a copy for yourselves. And I honestly don't know who wrote it because it doesn't have that information on it, but I know that for me, it was a bit of my healing and it was a bit of helping me when I needed that. So we're gonna go now to something that, um, it features a lady who just lost her life last week. Miss Cooter Nolan was a teacher in Pickens County. She loved her students. She loved teaching. I, I told her, I said, you're a teacher who teaches on the edge, don't you? You find something different, something interesting, something that really touches the kids' hearts. And one of the things she loved was that on hands, doing it. And she said, could you come and do something with my class? And I said, of course I can. So here we go. Back to the elementary school and Miss Cooter Nolan's class. Hi, I'm Sherry Martin. Tonight on Heart of the Home, I am so pleased I brought Angela Burgess, my daughter, to Miss Nolan's fourth grade science class. And we're going to do a simple, simple recipe that you gave me. Mm -hmm. Now, this is so simple and we know it starts with Mayfield Milk because Mayfield is one of our sponsors and we do love Mayfield Milk. 
So guys, we're gonna do this very quick and very easy. The ingredients, Angela, are what? One tablespoon of sugar, a half a cup of milk, or half and half, a fourth a teaspoon of vanilla, six tablespoons of rock salt, one pint-sized Ziploc plastic bag, one gallon-sized Ziploc plastic bag, and ice cubes. Sounds simple enough. We are actually going to make homemade vanilla ice cream. Not as good as Scotty Mayfield would make, but it's gonna be good, isn't it? Yes, it now, Miss Nolan promised me she's done this recipe several times. So guys, we're gonna get into it now. And Miss Nolan, you're gonna give me half a cup of Mayfield whole milk. There you go, there you go. And Angela, would you please add the sugar? One tablespoon of sugar. Okay. And vanilla flavoring. You know, vanilla smells so good, but it doesn't really taste real good, does it? Until it comes out in your ice cream. Only got a fourth a teaspoon of vanilla. We're okay. measuring. Now, we're going to put this in our bag. And do you want to get the bag of ice ready for us, Miss Nolan? Oh, that smells good. Vanilla does smell so good. And remember guys, one of the tricks that Miss Nolan told us is make sure that we seal our bags really, really tight. Yeah. Okay, now we have our ice and we're adding the um, rock salt, which is also known as ice cream salt. Tell me when. That looks about good, okay. Now, this is our ice cream freezer. Now what about that? How simple is that? Make sure that you seal your bags correctly. Now, Angela, honey, you're the youngest and you're the prettiest. Mm -hmm. So, you are going to do what now? You're going to make ice I'm cream. I'm going to shake this bag up. You're going to make ice cream. Do you I'd do it say, over and over? Do it on the table. Like a gazillion times. Work off some frustrations. That's right. Homework troubles. <laughs> waiting for recess to come. <laughs> Now we know this is so awesome because no pans, no heat, and we're using our great Mayfield milk, right? Is right. this the simplest thing you ever saw? Right. Wow. Okay, Angela, now you know I was teasing you. It's not 30 minutes, it's only five to seven minutes. Cool. <laughs> oh, it is, it's getting thick. It's, it's getting thick. It's starting to get thick. I just thought you looked like you wanted to do this for 30 minutes. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? can't believe this was ready in five to seven minutes. No, no. And it really is frozen, and it smells as good it's as Scotty really Mayfield's good. ice cream because it has Mayfield milk in yes. it, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's try now, it. Can we try this? Wow. Wow, guys. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Awesome. That is awesome. You're my mama. Let me taste. You can do it. That's right. <laughs> now, we could add peaches or strawberries Only to it. Only eat after your mama, not strangers. That's right. That's right. Oh, wow. Isn't it mm. great? That cool. is awesome now. Really good. This was such a simple recipe, and I am so glad Miss Nolan submitted it. We love doing new things. This was a great idea. This was perfect. Guys, thank you so much, and thank Miss Nolan, and thank you to Jasper Elementary School. This has been a learning process for me. Did y'all learn something today? Yes. 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 And you learned you always tune in to ETC for Heart of the Home. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Amazing day. Heart of the Home, this is an hour and a half special. Mm -hmm. That's kind of tough. <laughs> Every day we do an hour and a half. It's too <laughs> hard for us. Too tough for us. <laughs> Angela, what's it, what is it like on Fridays? An hour and a half, it's gone in two seconds. An hour and a half is not long enough. Not yeah, long at all. Not. Jim, time flies. talk about the shows you've been on, how fast time flies. Time flies. Time flies. It is amazing. <laughs> when we started doing North Georgia Now Today, mm -hmm. I said, how in the world can we do an hour and a half? Oh, yeah, that. No problem. We can talk, and we can talk. Talk, 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 talk. We can talk, 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 talk. We do talk a lot about the things that matter in this community. Right. Now, my co-host, Wednesday, Friday, Friday Freddy, and look at this. He's eating again. <laughs> Bill is eating again. Jen is, Jen is in charge every time we're out in the public doing a live show. She feeds you. She plays trivia with you. She gives you all kinds of goodies. And today, we're going to give you some advice. Spend some time with your family. Spend some time with your friends. Make it simple. Now, Charlene, how simple is this? Too simple. Too simple. And Freddie, that, did you come up with this idea? No, it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> because, because of Freddie, these are flying off the shelves. <laughs> they are. Now, I made, Kathy actually made us some homemade sausage balls, and mm -hmm. he said they're good, but Tennessee Pride does them better. 
We're going to help you simplify your life. Make it simple, make it sweet. And, and Angela, how important is it? Tori's coming home. Yes, you want to do something thanks. special for her, but you don't want to stress out over it. No, we don't. Want to now look at these over. meatballs. And I've made this sauce. This is the homemade sauce with blue plate mayonnaise, honey, and mustard. Those were so easy. 17 minutes? Yeah. No stressing? And I don't like complain. Yeah. No sauce. No he doesn't do, he doesn't do, uh -huh. he doesn't do dipping sauce. To me, the whole idea is create your own dipping sauces. Mm -hmm. Use some of the recipes that we're going to be sharing with you today. They are amazing. More than that, it's simple. Yeah. Keep it simple. I put these in marinara sauce. Oh, wow. That we would be awesome. We can put them on a sub, mm -hmm. a sub roll. So oh, that sounds good. good. Yeah. Put cheese on top and melt it. That would be good. <laughs> something <laughs> easy. Something easy. Yeah. Now, they're available at the Blue Star in yes. Jasper. Mm -hmm. And we have to thank all our sponsors because our calendar, see this calendar? My Pride and Joy will be out in about 10 days. The sponsors made it possible. So please spend some time with them. Spend some money with our sponsors. More importantly, spend some time with your family. Yes. Now, uh, a message for everybody quickly. Um, Merry Christmas, and we love everybody, and hope you have a great New Year. That's right, Angela. Yes, Merry Christmas, not just having holiday stuff, and everybody have a fantastic New Year, and look for us there in January. That's right, January 4th. Jen? Merry Christmas to everyone out there. We love you, and, and our very best to all of you. Bill? Uh, invite me to your uh, meal. <laughs> And, and, and to God be the glory. Um, God, thank you for the people you brought in my life. This young man um, came into my life this year, and you really turned me around. My children will tell you, you made me focused, you made me positive, and you made me cool, calm, and collected. Thank you very much. And happy. And happy. And happy. And he's responsible for the smile on my face. So have you got anything you want to say? Uh, Merry Christmas and have a happy new year. That's right. From, from heart of the home, we're going to take a break right now, and I'm going to bring some people on who are very responsible for today's program. Without town and country opening their doors to us, this could not have happened. I want you to meet the mayor-elect from Blue Ridge. She will be here in just a second. She's a very quiet lady, but a very smart lady. You're going to meet Donna in just a second. We'll be right back. Children, grandchildren, the holidays, food, friends, fellowship, that's what it's about. As I was watching that and I was thinking about Jen and how she loved for us to do the live shows. She got so into it. We always had a lot of goodies to give away and we would play trivia and we just had a really, really good time getting out there among you. There's so many of those who used to show up for every single show we did out in the field and we went to some amazing places. We were so fortunate and um, so many folks are gone now and I just look back and it's so amazing to be able to have these these moments these memories this footage and so yeah it means a lot it means a lot and you know there were days that I couldn't get by watching my daughter's beautiful blue eyes without falling apart but if you if you listen to this poem and I am going to share this I'm going to copy this and put it on my Facebook page it's a long long poem you can see how long it is but I'm going to make sure that all of y'all get a copy of this because, again, it is called If You Could See Where I Have Gone. And I think it, it's helped me, and I hope that it will help y'all. We're going to go now to another little mini excerpt. And this is, um, it's very strange how this happened because standing right here at ETC Studios, Mike Rizuko and his friend who played the guitar with him came to the studio as Angela was battling cancer. And they did a song for her that Mike had written, and it's called Angela's Smile. And she was so honored that her dear friend wrote this song about her, and she was just so excited. And she said, Mom, just wait till you hear this song. It's so amazing. They had been friends since elementary school. And so when she was facing cancer, he wrote this song. He called her, and it was, so, it was just it was amazing. It was such a tribute. And then after her funeral, after her funeral, things went downhill for Mike. And he had an injury, he had some problems, he wasn't being able to work like he wanted to, and when a man isn't able to support his family and he's dealing with health issues, sometimes you get depressed. And Mike ended his life the same way Angela ended hers. And I thought, how unbelievable is this? And God, why are you doing to this, this to us again? But we faced it, we lived through it, and now we have to remember Mike Rizuko because he was such an amazing talent. He loved music. He and Lori had played around the community for years and years and years. But we're going to share this song, and it is Mike Rizuko as he did Angela's Smile.
its trouble, toil, and strife, though the road gets rough and hard to bear. Then I just fall on bended knees, and I ask the Lord to please help me make it, Lord, to understand. When I lay the old cross down to put on my streets of purest gold and I'll see my mom and dad and some friends I always had but best of all I'll see my Lord when I get home oh I know it won't be long till I reach my brand new home there to rest from all the troubles of this life where we'll sing and we'll shout never more to wear out won't that be a happy time when we get home just a few more days it'll all be over all the old just a few more days and we'll sit down Wow, wow. To have that footage of Angel Spirit, I was sitting there with my cell phone, and um, that is a song. The lady who wrote it was absolutely amazing. The ladies who sang it, um, two out of three of them have gone to be with Jesus. And I want to just read you the last paragraph of this poem again, and then we're going to end with Dwight and a, a song that I love. So... If you could see where I have gone, you'd know we'll meet some day. And though I've parted from you now, that I am just away. And now that I am home with him, secure in every way, I'm waiting here at heaven's door to greet you some sweet day. So no matter who you've lost, if they knew Jesus, you will see them again. And that is so amazing. And I think that's maybe today's lesson if you know somebody who doesn't know Jesus, maybe now is the time to help them and to, to bring them to a place of peace. We're going to end now with a song that really touched me the first time I heard it. So sit back and enjoy. Merry Christmas, Ella J. It was Christmas time in my hometown in 1989. Kinfolk would be coming down, but none of whom were mine. So I told the captain, I'll just work a double, I believe, so the ones that have their families can be home on Christmas Eve. I'm a policeman in Georgia, and a young one, by the way. Silver bells, shotgun shells, and a four-door Chevrolet. The weatherman says snow tonight, and no one should be out. Slim left word to park the cruiser and patrol in my old scout. Barely just into the night, as the snow came falling down, dispatch come on with a call to the bridge just north of town. The call came from a payphone. They said they saw a light. As I approached, an old guitar was ringing through the night. There beneath the steel and stone, on a worn out sleeping bag, an old man sat there all alone, humming one by hag. The fire lit up his tired old face, his eyes shined in the light. He said, Lieutenant, I guess I'm out of place, but I'll just be here for tonight. Dispatch come back on the air. Is everything 10 4? I told him I'd be there a couple of minutes more. I said that old Gibson sounded fine. He said it's all that's left that I call mine. It's been with me since 1954. I had a loving family, but the Lord, He 
needed them more than me. New Year's Eve, 1967. It seems like only yesterday, but it was long ago and far away. I'm on the road, and they're all up in heaven. He said, anyway, I can't play like before. My fingers don't work good anymore. If you'll let me stay here just tonight, I'll be gone by morning light. I stood a block of wood up on its end, and he handed me his only friend. I sat down there by the fire, and I played that old man's heart's desire. As he lay back there on his sack, I played the one about the Cadillac, and I watched him as he drifted off to sleep. I put his old guitar to bed, chunked his fire in my head. A scene played out that I will always keep. Be careful how you treat them all. You never know when you might fall and need someone to show a little love. Or even in just what disguise Something opens up your eyes Or when you'll have a visit From somewhere up above Two C's, ten eight Merry Christmas, L.J.